In today's video, why you should not listen to my fitness pal. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. Happy New Year. And today we're going to talk about the idea that apps and websites are telling us how much food to eat and where that information comes from. And I want to give you this based on questions you guys asked me. So go to my Instagram direct message right here below. What I'd like to do is review these questions. If I don't answer you directly, I like to make videos about them. And we're going to make 2023 amazing. And we're starting right now. So let's talk about today's question. I have a question regarding calories. I work out every morning, an hour and 20 minutes for weightlifting, 20 minutes for cardio. I'm trying to gain some muscle since I got tired of having lady arms. I downloaded my fitness pal, input my information, and it says I need to eat 2,480 calories every day. I hardly eat 1,200. The thing is that I work in an office, I sit, and if I eat 2,500 calories, I'm going to get fat sitting in my chair the rest of the day. I'm 150 pounds, 1.75 meters should I keep my calories low? So I have a perfect plan for you. So you're already doing something that very few people do, right? You're using my fitness pal. However, my fitness pal has a built in option for telling you how many calories you should be eating based on a lot of the information that you put in. What most people don't realize is that information is based on lots of research and lots of methodology that has absolutely nothing to do with you, right? We are individuals, okay? A lot of that research is antiquated. It comes from decades ago when people, maybe they were busier, maybe they were moving more, but for whatever reason, I find this quite often that the calories suggested in these apps and these websites far exceeds what you actually need. So much so that we actually developed our own free calorie calculator right on our site. So maybe you should go on this one and tell me what you think comparatively. But the idea is if you're already tracking, right? If you're already putting all your information into MyFitnessPal, I'm gonna give you a plan because your goal is to build muscle. And to build muscle, you're gonna gradually need to increase the quality of your workouts, training volume over time, but also you need to provide yourself with proper nutrition in the form of protein, carbohydrates, and fats, okay? So first things first, are you getting enough protein? Okay, protein is the building block of muscle. So if you're only getting 1,200 calories and you weigh 150 pounds and you wanna build muscle, I would say your protein goals probably need to be in the 120 to 130, 140 range for protein on a daily basis, right? Protein is going to provide the foundation. Now, let's say you're getting 150 grams of protein a day. That's 600 calories, roughly half your diet, right? So if you jump up to say 2,500 calories, you're absolutely right. You're going to put on body fat because that is where your body has gotten comfortable. What would I do in your situation? Were I your coach? I would say, hey, let's bump these calories up, say 50 a week doesn't sound like much, right? 50 calories, that's about 12 carbohydrates, right? 12 grams of carbs is all that is. However, what happens is over time, if you're adding 50 calories a week, you allow the metabolism to adjust appropriately to respond and to pick up its pace. What happens this way is that we don't put on body fat because oftentimes the metabolic health, hormonal health, and the recovery improve so that you're actually increasing your metabolic rate as you're adding food. Now, this process is called metabolic building. Some people call it reverse dieting, but the goal is to walk your calories up and avoid rapid fat gain. You might even be able to get your calories up to the suggested number of 2,500 over the course of a few weeks and months. I see it all the time with my competition clients. This is how I rebuild them after a long competition season. And actually, oftentimes I will rebuild their metabolism going into the competition so that when the show is over, well, they don't face rapid body fat regain. Now in your situation, what you're seeing is you're already eating around 1200 calories. So for you to make a huge jump, it's probably going to be like force feeding. However, if you're just adding, let's say 15 grams of carbs to your diet this week, and maybe the next week you add five grams of fat with fat being nine calories per gram, that would be 45 calories, right? So we're still in that, you know, 50 calorie per week range. The key here is if you reach a week where you go, man, you know what? I've added a couple hundred calories, but I'm also noticing a little bit of body fat. Stop there. Don't continue adding food. You're probably at your maintenance number where you can build muscle. A lot of us have heard this idea that you need to bulk to build muscle. This is simply not the case. Muscle building is a long, slow, tedious process. It's very fun, very enjoyable, but you don't need to put on 40 pounds of body fat to add five pounds of muscle only to have to diet off that 35 pounds of body fat back down to where you were before. If you take your time and you enjoy the process of lifting weights, understand that it's just a slow process, right? Bodybuilding and putting muscle on our frames is something that takes months, years, a lifetime, okay? And if you start to understand that process, you don't get in a rush, 
you don't risk putting on body fat quickly, and you don't feel the need to listen to MyFitnessPal's recommendations to literally double your calories. I promise you, that is a quick way to both put on body fat and put yourself in a situation where you're finding yourself having to diet again very soon, okay? So, before you decide to listen to any of these apps or websites, what should you do? You should have tracked your calories for about a week, okay? Then you can make small 10, 5% increases each week and allow your body to adapt, getting more food, improving your performance, so at the same time that your metabolic and hormones and recovery are improving, you're adding that lean tissue, that muscle that you wanna build. All right, guys, this is a great way to start the new year with some accountability. I love these apps. Now, I actually prefer Fat Secret. Why? Because it's more of a diary. It doesn't give you a prescribed number. It doesn't say, hey, you should do this. You should eat this. Fat Secret is just a diary and allows you to just look at the data and go, this is what I should be doing. All right, guys, send me your questions. Instagram direct message. And by the way, if you would like to make $50,000 this year, join our Transformation Challenge. There's only a couple days left to enter. It's for the next 90 days and we're giving away $50,000. We have individualized nutrition plans, training plans. It's open worldwide, all age groups. And we have a private group where we're gonna be doing weekly videos, answering all your question across our 28 amazing coaches here at ProPhysique.com. Thank you guys for everything and I am looking forward to an amazing 2023.